salutations friends and welcome back to my channel. This is my Halloween fragrance video and I decided to do something a little bit different, a little bit fun, and I got, I did get inspiration from another YouTuber so I'll let you guys know a little bit about that, but I am creating a Franken fragrance and it's going to be uh, from Vetiver. So what I'm going to do is mix all my Vetiver fragrances together and wear it and let you guys know what I think. So this is going to be my Halloween video, my Franken fragrance. So yeah, if you'd like to know what it smells like and more about this video, then keep watching. First off, I have to give credit. The inspiration to this video went goes to Safia Nygaard. I believe that's how you pronounce it. I'll link her channel below. She's one of my favorite channels on YouTube. She's comedy. She does a lot of really awesome things where she'll buy the first five things that are um, advertised to her on Instagram, on Facebook. She used to, uh, she was the creator of Ladylike on BuzzFeed, but then she left BuzzFeed. And with that freedom, she's just really had a very thriving channel. She's entertaining to watch and I love her channel. So she does a few videos where she'll mix her, she melted all of her nude lipsticks together to make one Franken lipsticks. And then she mixed all of her foundations together to make one foundation for her. And I thought that might be really fun to do for fragrance. Now, rather than just mix everything together or that wouldn't work, I was kind of thinking this might be fun because she calls it like her Franken foundation or her Franken lipstick. Since today's Halloween, I thought it might be a fantastic, fantastic Halloween um, inspired fragrance video, but I decided to choose Vetiver. And the reason why I wanted to choose Vetiver is one of my favorite notes, uh, a lot of variety of different fragrances to come together because I really want this to be um, a hit, uh, you know, to be a nice fragrance, but also because it's like damp and earthy and grassy. And I thought it might be a really good type of fragrance for Halloween because it's like earthy and damp and smoky and grassy and things like that. So I have, I picked my most favorite vetiver fragrances, the ones I listed in my uh, favorite vetiver video, I will link it below, and a few others as well. And I'm going to <laughs> obviously mix them all here in this little uh, decant empty container. And that's gonna be my fragrance, so yeah. I already started doing this and then I realized I wasn't filming. So basically what I'm doing is this is a little container and I am spritzing into this three times of each of the fragrances. Now, not all of these are vetiver dominant fragrances, but these are the ones where the vetiver really stands out to me. Uh, so the first one I did was from Guerlain uh, Vetiver, the Eau de Toilette. And then the second one I did before I realized I wasn't filming was Histories de Parfums. This is 1899. So the next one I'm doing is, and I'm just pulling off the tops is obviously going to be Le Labo Vetiver 46. One, two, three. Next up is Madrona from House of Matriarch. I love this one. Two, three. And then this is a decant of Raja Vetiver Pour Home, my favorite. I wanna try the extrait before I decide to purchase this. One, two, three. I hate these spritzers. And then actually next one is going to be Viking. And I love this one on me. And the vetiver with the sandalwood and the rose really comes out. So here's Viking. One, two, three. Next up is Ankar Noir. This is the uh, traditional one. I have a decant of the extreme, but I decided to just do one. One, two, three. And then this one I wasn't sure if I was going to do because I love this one, but I thought if I'm going to do my favorite vetiver fragrances, I had to include this one. It's my baby. It's Sycamore Eau de Toilette. <gasps> one, two, three. But for the sake of this video, I kind of got to do them all. And then next is uh, Vetiver Babylon. One, two, three. Are these two from Raw Spirit Fragrances, Winter Oak and Summer Rain? So this is Winter Oak. And then this is Summer Rain. All right, so what I'm gonna do off camera is I'm going to do three more spritzes of each in here, and then I'll let you guys know how it smells. And here we are. 
This is my Franken Vetiver fragrance, or my Franken fragrance. This, I'm going to let this sit and just kind of have everything stew and sit together. I'm going to shake it um, for about 10 minutes. Just kind of let everything kind of come together. And then I'm going to come back and wear it. Okay, guys, we are back. I It's been sitting for about 15 minutes. I don't know if it's going to make a big difference, but I figured I'd let it. I'll give it one more little gentle shake. And let's see how this smells. I have a strip right here. And I'm not sure how this is going to smell. I'm not sure if this is going to be really grassy. I'm not sure if this is going to be really smoky. Obviously, I hope I can pick up vetiver in this, but I'm kind of excited. So let's um, check it out. Hmm. All right. It's definitely... Definitely different. Okay, so what I'm getting, what I'm picking up is very grassy. It's very bright, woodsy, grassy, dry, very dry. Very dry. I thought it would be more moist than this. I, I know. <laughs> um, but it's pulling like fresh vetiver grass, like not damp, not smoky, not citrusy, just like woodsy and grassy. All right, so now I'm going to do kind of like a first impressions, like is what I do, where I'm going to put it on my skin. Obviously, this is going to be a full first impressions because I'm not going to be doing a follow-up video, but I'm going to spray this on my skin, clean skin, not wearing anything today, except for, you know, my, my ink. And let's, let's go spray it on one until I know it's safe. Um, so I'm going to do what I normally do. I'm going to let you guys know the opening and then I'll come back in another 10 to 15 minutes and let you guys know what I think of the dry down. So let's give this a whirl. Okay, it's coming a little bit, a little bit darker on my skin. It's very grassy on this. Very grassy, citrusy, bright, woodsy, but like a green wood, you know, not like a dry wood, like a crisp green wood. This is pulling a little bit citrusier, a little bit damper and darker, but it's still got the grassy, woodsy notes on my skin. So, so far, this actually is really nice, really wearable. I don't know if it would make it into my top 10, but it's not bad. But let's, um, I definitely want this to sit on my skin for probably 15 to 20 minutes to really let everything come out. So I will be back. All right, so this has been on my skin about 25 minutes. I haven't, I've been trying not to smell it because I like, I want to because I'm so curious. But I figured, why don't I just be patient and wait and try it now? Okay, so... Catching you guys up, Franken fragrance, all my favorite veggie for fragrance, my top. Some of them I was like, oh, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Ah, mix that because sycamore is so hard to find, but I was like, I'm gonna do it. I have to include it. So let's go. So let's see. Okay, that's interesting. Not bad, not bad. Okay, so here's the thing, guys. This is smelling really grassy but there's like a damp earth kind of vegetal earthy smokiness in the background. So the predominant type of vetiver is the grassy type. If you guys know when I talk about vetiver, it can, since it's a grass and you get the oil from the root, a lot of times you get, vetiver can wear different hats or smell different ways. It can smell grassy and damp, grassy and dry. It can smell woody and damp or woody and dry or it can smell smoky and dry, smoky and damp. And smoky, damp, and ve like vegetal and earthy is like my favorite. But I really like grassy, bright, citrusy, woody veggie bear as well. So that's kind of what I have right here is the dry grass mixed with the damp earth with a little bit of woodsy in the middle. So obviously if I'm mixing a variety of different veggie bear fragrances together, I'm gonna get different types of it, but I didn't know I'd be able to pick out the two different ones specifically. 
So it's really grassy. That's the first thing I can say about this fragrance. It comes off really green, really grassy, but like a damp grass. But there is a bit of dryness in there too. And if you guys know, there is a nice bit of smoothness and sweetness in the background of this. That's really very pleasant. This is definitely a wearable fragrance. I don't know if this would make it into my top 10 vetiver fragrances, but if I smell this in the store, I'd be like, yeah, that doesn't smell bad. Yeah, that's not, that's not too bad. So kudos. I'm going to spray this on the other wrist now because I want to compare. This is the other reason why I didn't do it. I also wanted to compare the opening to the dry down. So here we go. Half of it went into the air, but I did get a decent amount on my wrist. I'm going to give that a few seconds. It's very aromatic. It's very, again, that's probably just because I spritzed the air and not my wrist, but, um, yeah, this starts off really grassy, really dry, really um, a little bit citrusy and bright and crisp, but a little bit bitter. Again, that's the grassiness. And then it, it warms down into something a little bit smoother, a little bit sweeter. Not sweet, but like a sweet grass rather than like a dry grass, like a dry bitter grass. But it's got that nice earthy element in the back of it. So yeah, that's my Vetiver Franken fragrance. Um, again, this is, was a fun video. I'm really liking the dry down on this one. Thank you guys one. so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, guys, if you like these types of videos, fun videos like Franken fragrances, maybe I'll do this again, or just my fragrance videos in general, remember to give this video a thumbs up. Let's me know to continue doing videos like this. And also don't forget to subscribe because it's free and I'm free and I put out new videos every Monday through Friday and sometimes on the weekends as well. So I'll always have something for you to watch. In any case, I hope you guys are all happy and healthy. Have a great day, month, year, whatever, and I'll see you next time. Bye.